Hey Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. Ooh, I like that. Y'all, don't forget, flip your rolls, take only what you need and leave the rest. And please use the spirit of discernment, okay? Do not force anything to fit if it doesn't resonate, all right? So my goal is to help you to evolve spiritually, to heal, and to ascend in your gifts, okay? So however, Virgo, the first card that came out was Ariel. And it says, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. So allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation, okay? Let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading for Virgo. Protect us as we go through these portals. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger. Thank you for my true guides being here with me, and so it is. So, of course, you're getting... A lot. It, it kind of reminds me of the reading I did the other day, and I can't remember if it was collective. I think it was collective, but um, I pretty much spoke about um, the collective having the gift of prophecy. That's what it was. It was the gift of prophecy, okay, and how we are supposed to be using our gifts now, okay? So you're getting like a lot of new psychic and spiritual experiences, and I kind of want to see where that's going. So Let's see. I'm going to read it from the book, too, as well. I'm pulling from my um, Angel Messenger deck, and the it's fading. It's the Angel Dreams deck. Okay, look, school. Mm. And that's so crazy, right? Because I had this these in my hand early, and I was looking, and I kept seeing the school. And then I kept thinking lessons, lessons, right? Before it to come out, it's crazy on top of that, right? So I always say it's crazy, but basically saying, because it's like, ah, oh, that's wow, right? Like I already had it in my in my mind and then for it actually to surface. So definitely trust your intuition. I normally say like the first thing that pops in your mind usually is, you know, your intuition talking to you, okay? So with the new psychic gifts, Ariel, Let's see. It is not your imagination. You really are psychic. <laughs> and you have connected with the spirit world. These mystical experiences are occurring due to your increased spiritual openness. And because you have asked about your your because you have asked your angels about your life purpose, um, this is why this information is coming out. Okay, so Ariel is a part of a large group of angels assigned to help those of you who have spiritual gifts. We will send you additional earth helpers in the form of spiritual teachers, books, and classes so that you may further open up to your spiritual abilities. Please don't be afraid of your gifts. Although you may have been teased or punished for being psychic in your childhood or past life, we can help you heal from any fears that may have had that may have that you may have about being psychic or spiritually gifted. Just ask for our help and it is given. The earth needs your help right now. We ask that you regularly send the divine love and light within you towards those who need it most. Simply hold the intention of sending beams of loving energy towards any place, plant, animal, person, or situation, and it is done. We thank you for earth angel assistance, okay? Virgo, is literally, it's time, like it's needed now, okay? So you're having a lot of experiences, but what I'm seeing is like you're in training okay you're in school have you ever had dreams about being in school so when you dream about being in school what grade are you in like i remember um a long time ago i would dream about myself in school like elementary school and i would be an adult to middle school to high school to graduating from high school to going to college like literally like now in my dreams i'm the teacher okay and i'm not a student any longer in the school but however if you're dreaming about a school then yeah Pay attention to where you're at because that'll show you where you are at in your journey, okay? So there's definitely lessons that you are learning um, through your experiences. Like, I know it feels like what the heck is going on, but it didn't. it's part of your training, basically. It's like boot camp, y'all, boot camp. That's how I look at the twin flame journey. I'll be like, it's like boot camp, okay? <laughs> I am a twin flame. Um, divine feminine is uh, the energy I operate in, but... Yes, it feels a whole lot like I'm I'm going through boot camp. Well, it did. So now I really feel like I have ascended um, a great deal. Still learning some things. But however, um, it says school represents the lessons you are learning at this moment in your life. 
This dream card asks you to notice if you are learning on an elementary or university level. Who is helping you with your lessons? Acknowledge those teachers and mentors. Take time to find the answers or solutions so you can graduate. For example, perhaps you're dreaming of being in the first grade, try to solve a math, trying to solve a math equation. The teacher is guiding you through the problem. You can interpret this to mean that you are at the beginning level of the lesson in your life. You're trying to solve an issue that has you stumped. Your dream might be telling you that you need to ask for help. Or one in which you forget your homework might be a sign that you're panicking over something that could be easily resolved, okay? Um, but before bedtime, focus on a situation with the intention to have your lesson revealed to you in your dream. If you have dreamed of school, notice what you are learning um, as it represents the lessons of this moment or a particular situation, okay? But however, again, it's like, and even in your dream state here, it's some things that are being revealed to you on top of that, okay? So... It's definitely interesting. Let me pull something. Um, I wanted to pull a tarot card real quick here, but which one do I want to pull from? Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, y'all. So hold on one second. Dude, where do I want to go? Right, I'll use the mini tarot. Tell me about Ariana. Muse of material comes out okay so that is a muse of like pinnacles is how i'm seeing it materials are pinnacles if i'm not mistaken but let me see it represents abundance earth energy material success the journey of creating prosperity so in the garden of life she finds herself at a door above it sits the muse of material reflected in all of nature she whispers from the flowers the grass the trees she flitters among the birds and babbles in the creeks the muse uses all the materials of the earth to bring her world into form she looks down and offers a lesson of manifesting in abundance sweet creator these things are yours for the taking in the using the fusing in the gentle forming your harvest, little sprout, arises from the earth, so ground into her low humming energy and breathe in her humidity and warmth. It's time to take another small step towards the garden of life and commit to watering, healing, dancing, and loving as much as you can. And that's how it's basically sounding like, yeah, it's time for you to take another step, okay, in your journey with your abilities, which is also going to help you to manifest this abundance that, you know, you seek the material success. So a lot of times what I'm hearing is like with our giftings, you know, we are to use them to help people. But in turn, the universe begins to bless us um, for helping humanity. And it comes in all kinds of ways because, you know, abundance comes in all forms. So it could be financial abundance. It could be um, love, you understand, it could be just joy, it could be happiness that, you know, that it, it, it could be having excellent health, right, or wealth. I feel like it could be all of the above, okay, but they want you to commit to watering it, okay, commit to healing, commit to dancing, because it helps to ground you, um, and loving as much as you can, staying on the frequency of love. Material success and joy are arriving. So seek the grounding energy of earth delights and know that your your own fertile lands are blooming now. Okay, so trust your psychic abilities. Um, and I'm hearing trust your talents. All right, in these changing times. Tell me about this um, psychic abilities and how is it relating to the music material? Justice. Okay, so this is this is literally, and what I was hearing was like the law of cause and effect. Okay, it's like where there's an injustice, then of course it, the the universe balances it out with a justice. So whatever you could have been been through in your past life, about or even in this lifetime about your psychic abilities. I got the moon card that came in the reverse and the queen of emotions that came in the reverse. Um, definitely you're getting a justice for that. Okay. So like, it's like a lot of stuff is being revealed to you how I'm seeing it with that reverse moon. All right. It's like you're, it's like the veil is lifted. Let's just put it that way. And before, um, 
when it came to your emotions, you weren't balanced is how I'm hearing it. Right. But of course, during that, during that, those times, it wasn't really acceptable. Cause even when I think about, even with myself, it's like growing up in the eighties, um, you know, we didn't talk about things like this. Like I know in my family, uh, my grandmother would say that we would have spirits that followed us from every house to every house, but this wasn't things that we actually talked about. It was just things that me and my cousin would experience like we would have um we would be playing and I remember we would be playing in my grandmother's basement and um it would be something that would literally be playing with us I remember one day her stuffed bunny just went floating across the room we're playing and it's just floating across the room and we're looking at it she takes out running she leaves me and I'm running behind her screaming like no right but it's scared out of our minds but we never talked about it with the other family members we never did any of that like we just kind of was just like oh my god like right what in the world and this same spirit or entity would literally sing to us when we would sleep you can hear her singing like she would be at the end of the bed i mean and i've had so many different experiences growing up but i never remember ever recall saying anything to my parents about it or anything like my friends who experienced it with me or my cousin who experienced it with me like we would have it say it in between ourselves like oh my god right but these are things that you you know people be like don't believe in that that ain't real da 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 but however um, I do feel like it's a lot that's being revealed to you. And this is a point where you got to really trust your intuition and trust yourself. Okay. Because as you are balancing, um, this is why, and what I just heard is like, this is why you are being taught to balance your energies, to know your extremes so that you can be balanced in your emotions, especially, you know, your masculine feminine energy so that you are able to decipher and hear your intuitive, you know, mind telling you, um, or your higher self guiding you on this journey. Okay. Um, what else did I just see? I just seen something, uh, something just flashed across my, my, my vision, but, uh, what was it? I, I, I can't pull it out. It was like a, a man. I seen a man, but it felt like I was, I was seeing a card, a tarot card, but I don't, I didn't catch it. So thank you, my spirit team. If it comes back, um, tell me about the school. <laughs> Muse of inspiration. <laughs> okay. So it was a lot of muses coming out. Um, Let's look at the muse of inspiration. Still talking about success, inspired leaders, um, visionary, thinking big, the ability to bring many moving parts together into one large story. So, of course, this is. Again, the school is about the lessons. So everything that you're learning is because you're being molded and trained to be this visionary or inspired leader. Okay, so you are to take on a leadership position. I, I think of the higher font when I think of this. You like a teacher. Um, some of you probably would travel the world, but whatever it is, it's like through you and your experience, you're supposed to help inspire others. Okay. Um, it says expect to be initiated in ways you cannot yet imagine, fully captivated by ideas and propelled by enthusiastic ambition. This muse offers fire to brand the edges of your experience and racing excitement to ignite the wisdom of your heart. She asks you to enlist the help of others along the way. She, and she shares her power to turn to ash that wish has been anchoring you. Remember that your warm cocoon of confidence and determination will light up your heart with belief and inspiration. It will sing into being a phoenix energy that would allow you to rise from the death of anything that has been put in your path. With butterfly heart flutters and breath to deliver life, it is time to set your world aglow. Vision and a cream will be your guides. It's time to find purposeful success and take inspired action as you fall in love with your goals. Okay. Bam. That's just it. Your journey itself is pushing you to this very moment now. And it's like you've been going, some of you have been in school for a long time. Some of you are graduating, right? And becoming spiritual teachers and leaders and things like that. But this is the time of now is how I'm hearing it. For you to take inspired action, okay? And fall in love with your goals. Fall in love with whatever it is that you're working on. I know it's like this mad 
stagnant, stuck energy. This freaking retrograde is just like crazy because like I said, it's been having me like feeling like I want to sleep, right? I don't even have the motivation. Like I said, it's just like I want to sleep, 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 sleep. My body just feels tired. And I know it's because it's going to pick up. It's going to get busy. It's going to get super busy. I have been collaborating and connecting with people all around um, when it comes to this training um, I, I sit with someone once a week and we go through a little training session. Okay. We share ideas. We collab. I help her with building her gifts. She motivates me too. Okay. So it's like now it's, it's becoming, um, something here where I'm branching outside of being behind, you know, my, uh, my ca uh, telephone camera to actually dealing with one-on-one -on -one people, um, and, and, and bringing people in. Okay. Um, and, and teaching each other, you know, how to use and elevate through these gifts and through our own journey. And that's what you're also called to do as well, to, to ignite your wisdom, okay, and help other people here um, to do the same. It's it's like, you're definitely going to have to have a lot of confidence with this. So if you notice throughout, like, all of the readings that I've been doing, even though I, I give you the juice, you know what I mean? You know, it's all good because we need to keep it interesting, right? Sometimes it can't always be about the lesson or teaching. But um, I still, you know, give you that message where you can hear it. It's like, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is how you're supposed to be doing. It's like we're getting step-by-step -step instructions for what we should be doing next. And we clearly got what the next step is, okay? Through Ariel, the time is now for us to take those steps to allow your spiritual gifts to open, okay? So study, prayer, meditation, all of that is going to help you to um, advance in it. So what I'm feeling is to use the light work of the Oracle deck just to see here. What's up? What's up? What's your gifts? Tell us about it. I can't even get the question out. The law of efficiency, divine grace. Okay, so I'm going to read that. It says, the law of efficiency encourages us to work smarter rather than always working harder. Oof. I know, because I know I be working hard. <laughs> I be like, I got to do this different, okay? The character, the character I'm playing in this season of life is definitely going to be different from what I usually have done, y'all. But, it, you know, we're being encouraged to work smarter. We have these giftings, Okay. When we go against our purpose, our life purpose, then guess what? We end up finding that we're struggling. We're going against the ebb and flow of life and what we're called to actually literally do. So that's how I'm hearing it. It's like, yeah, now you want to put your effort entirely into utilizing your spiritual gifts and allowing them to flourish, which is going to also help you in the long run, okay? So, sorry, y'all. I thought I heard my son scream. That's why I was like, huh? <laughs> What's happening here? Um... It says, uh, all right, so it's, it's, it is like learning to allow a wave to carry you to shore rather than swimming the entire way with your own efforts alone or even against the current, which would make the journey even harder. It is like planting a seed at the right time so nature will help it bloom in the spring rather than planting it during the dead of winter when it takes a lot of effort to keep it alive. And even then, it may not survive. This is the intelligence of the law of efficiency and divine grace at work. To hitch your wagon to the universe in this way, you need to learn to listen. This means turning into what feels right or wrong at any given time. Sometimes you will want to push forward, yet your intuitive knowing will guide you to rest. Sometimes you will want to hide from a challenge and yet know in your bones it is time to step up and shine with boldness, despite the fear you may feel. The universe has a sense of natural flow, cycles, and timing that assures us that it supports every dream we dare to dream and that everyone can come to fruition in due course. It may not look exactly as you expect, but if you have set it in motion with desire and intention, karmic law will ensure that it finds expression. For this is to happen in the most loving, graceful, and easy way you must learn to hear, feel, and sense the currents of life and work with them rather than push against them. This is about common sense, allowing yourself to be helped, not making things more difficult for yourself than they need to be. Imagine that you have a chance to share a feeling of love in a room full of receptive people. The time is right. They are open and your efforts create the maximum effect for love's success. 
or you could expend the same amount of time and energy by arguing with one disinterested person in an attempt to get them to understand and receive the love, even though they actually have no interest in doing so at all. They just wish to have their own point of view and for you to agree with that. One is working with the law of efficiency and the other is working against the tide of life. It is not bad to choose the harder way, but sometimes it can be a great learning experience. But you are being encouraged with this oracle to explore the easier and more graceful way more often, especially at this time in your life, because there is a, help, a helping hand, a natural wave of energy in life that is going to be able to support your rising spirit and manifest something truly beautiful and special in the world. The law of efficiency is also sometimes known as the path of least resistance. Abraham Hicks talks about this all the time, y'all. I do encourage you to watch her. Take the path of least resistance. We be taking a harder path, right? <laughs> I already know because I do it too, okay? But we must find that strength that comes from letting go and trusting that the universe knows what it is doing. It takes spiritual maturity to see to wisdom get greater than your own immediate understanding. Then you are surfacing the wave rather than swimming against the current. How efficient to work with life and its cycles rather than believing you must struggle and strain to be heard, loved, rewarded, and inspired. You have the maturity within you. Trust now. Trust that all will come in time. Trust now and trust that all will come in time. Okay, so there's an invocation, but I'm going to read that in a second. It says, it is time your life become easier. It is time for you to walk the way of divine grace with trust, simplicity, and acceptance. You do not have to try to make things happen. You can gracefully act without attachment and trust that all will be as it is meant to be. Surrender your struggles now as you allow life to serve you with love and kindness this is the most efficient use of your energy and will lead to the best results. So now it's time for you to take the path of least resistance, Virgo. Whew. What does this path of least resistance look like for Virgo? Two voices, two of voices, I meant to say. That's like the two of swords. And as you can see, it's like two paths, right? One there and one there. They want you to take the path that's the easiest path. And basically, that's the path that's going to lead you to that door of your new beginning, um, your happiness, your joy, and everything. So it was one of these things where instead of taking a path where you feel restricted, you feel um, uh, trapped, you feel, you know, pain, grief, sadness, old mindsets, patterns, things like that. Go towards the path that makes you happy. Go towards the path that lights you up. Go towards the path that's going to bring you ease, okay? And so that's how I'm seeing that card. It's like, that's what it looks like. You're always given two choices in life. And they're asking you now to begin to choose the path that's going to be the easiest path. Like, you don't have to struggle. You don't have to go through what you're going through, Right? But sometimes because of habits and patterns and old mindsets and belief systems, we tend to keep repeating the cycle by choosing the same path that doesn't work for us any longer. It's outdated. So try to do something different, different from what you used to do. Say like, for example, if, you, if, you, if you're feeling a certain way about something that someone did to you, instead of sweeping it under the rug, you know, just kind of like speak up. Hey. I ain't going to lie, I don't understand what's happening. I don't like the way you did that. I don't, you know, maybe we need to communicate and see how we can come to some type of medium. You know, usually sometimes we just literally just be like, you know what, I ain't going to say nothing, forget it. Then we get mad, we're holding this anger and this grief inside. We building up resentment, things like that. Try to do things differently. This is what I've been teaching you guys over the duration of the last, what, four, three years I've been on YouTube, maybe two or three, I don't know. But however, yeah, 
don't put on a blindfold to it any longer, right? Because the old way of you doing things is outdated, okay? Queen of Materials and a Knight of Materials comes out. So that's more like pinnacles to me. And the way I see it is like you have this ability here to have this healthy balance as the Queen of Materials. To be able to be financially stable, wealthy, to be a homemaker, to take care of your children, to go out there and run a corporation or go work in a corporation, however you want to do, to run a business, start a nonprofit, whatever that may be. You have that ability to do it. You're in it for the long run. And that's how I see it because the Knight of Materials actually kind of like move slow but they literally are dedicated for the long run they got these goals and this is what they're focused on okay um it's the knight of materials is definitely someone you can you can trust as well <clears throat> if this is re referring to a masculine energy in your life hold on one second Y'all already know how I do something. I always want to get up in my throat and, and cause it to be all itchy and it. But hold on. Get my life together, y'all. <clears throat> this is about productivity and diligence. Your hard work paying off. Steadfastness, determination, things like that. So the night... The knight loves to tend to the field of his success. He derives great joy from tilling his soul and removing the tiniest of weeds, knowing that it will make a difference in the future. He once tried to take great risks with his fields, working in long sleepless spurts with giant showy plants that would reap greater rewards. But most of the large plants withered when his worries about them overtook his ability to just be, to just do. He soon found that he was much happier without the splashy accolades and that he felt infin um, infinitely more confident with his beautiful little succulents that offer guaranteed stable success as long as he was consistent. You hear it? Be as the night, stay consistent. You understand? You're working towards the long term here. Okay. So he shares a message of relaxing into the task you love and finding meaning in your work. Your diligent routine will tell you where you are headed in life. So create a steady foundation that supports your dreams. All right. I mean, that's clear as day, right? Right. Because that's, this is where you're coming in to be the queen of materials. You can, you can do that, that financial wealth and gain, also having that mothering and nurturing energy, okay, the unconditional love, your prosperity, all of that, right? There's no such thing as lack. The universe is abundant, and that's how I'm hearing it. It's like you literally can do it and have it all. So now is the time, and this is the time for you to rise up and to really operate fully in your spiritual giftings, okay? These experiences that you're having are molding you, all right, so that in the long term or however it is that you're working, that determination for whatever your goals are that you're setting for yourself, you can have that sec security for the future. OK, so you're planting the seeds now or however, whenever you planted those seeds. And guess what? They're already starting to take harvest now is what I'm hearing. The seeds you planted are taking root They're 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 um, growing now. All right, so just remain patient, you know, because this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. New beginnings. And that's just exactly what it is. It's time for you to take this brave leap of faith, okay? There's a lot of interchanges that are happening within you. And these important choices that you have to make, um, you need to, or they're about to be made. And that's what I keep hearing. It's like, we're getting ready to come up against making another choice. Okay. So you already know what to do. You're going to choose the path of least resistance. Whatever choice you may have to face. Rejoice and celebrate. And what I'm hearing is like, don't worry, okay? Don't worry. You're going to be able to rejoice and celebrate, right? I think that's pretty much what our fears be. It's the outcomes. Like, what's going to happen? Like, because we can't see it, because we don't have no control over it. But you have to be in a state of trusting. 
trusting the process, trusting the universe, trusting the divine, knowing that everything is going to always work out for your highest good. Okay. So let me read that rejoicing card to you guys. Then I'm going to close out. Yep. Here we go. A time of merriment, celebration, birth, success, and victory is at hand. You are doing what you love most and are pursuing your passion. And when you follow your heart and intuition with zeal, there are no limits to what you can achieve. You hear that? Ha! When the energy of excitement and love is present, you can feel it moving within you. Somehow, love has a way of showing you that you are connected to something much larger than yourself. The number three symbolizes unity and a time to rejoice in gratitude and sharing, whether it's with family members, friends, or even co-workers. This is a moment of fruition for all of your dedicated work. So pat yourself on the back and party and dance in celebration of your accomplishment. Do you hear that, Virgo? Okay, victory is at hand. You are doing what you love to do. Wow. Do what you love to do. That's just how I'm hearing it. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> That's giving me, look, I'm over here like, wow. <laughs> okay. That's doing a lot for me right now to you guys. Because I'm telling you, I go back to work. Um, Like I'm in the classroom on the 23rd again. So, and I got to go to work tomorrow. Got to be there from nine to four, y'all. And I'm like, please help me. Right. I'm trying to get through this, but <laughs> it's going to be all good. Right. Intuition, partnership, and alliances. Listen to your intuition, okay? You are psychic. You are not crazy, okay? You are seeing the fruits of your labor take seed and blossom, all right? It may be some more that you got to do, but honey, guess what? Watch out for the synchronicities. You already know the signs, right? Um, and especially when they come in threes, okay? They could bring opportunities to you to form connections connections and unexpected alliances. So I feel like you're going to be connecting with other people who are like-minded, working with these people, um, networking, and um, it's going to have a lot to do around what you're called to do. So pay attention to the opportunities that come to you, okay? So this is like... And what I just, I just seen and vision, like the gift card from the Kipper deck, it's like one of these things, it's like a gift from the universe, um, whether it's big or small. Okay. But this is what's going to help you here, um, with expanding. Okay. So it's okay to connect with these, um, people, just pay attention to the synchronicities. So you'll know, right. You may start seeing numbers when it comes to a certain person that you, you meet. Okay. Um, and for some of you, I'm hearing like these people have always kind of been there. All right. You may have not been able to really connect with them, but they've always been there. And then you're going to have this chance meeting is how I'm hearing it. OK, but don't worry. Whatever seeds you have planted. OK, they're beginning to blossom. All right. So you are there. You're almost there. Hang in there, Virgo. You're almost at the finish line. OK. All right. Y'all. Peace. <laughs>